What's up, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to increase your traffic density inside ETS 2. DJ Chamex on the mix. If it's your first time watching my videos, I encourage you to click that subscribe button because each time I upload something new, you'll get notified immediately, right? So you're gonna open your explorer just like that okay we're gonna look for this folder named euro track simulator 2 and then we're gonna look for a file named config.cfg we need to right click on that file and then we we'll click on properties if you have never opened it before we're just gonna open it using the notepad right and then we click on apply and we click on okay that's good and just double click on it and then it gives us something like this press on ctrl and f the file that we're gonna look for it's called g underscore traffic right there it is right there you should give it a number from zero up to ten okay zero which means there is no traffic at all and ten meaning the maximum traffic that you can get inside this game and by default it comes as one if you need to have intermediate traffic density you just give it something like five okay and if you like challenges and your gpu can check all that processing you can give it a 10 you know just experiment for example um, let's give it a five after that you you have to save and also another thing if you want to increase your pedestrian density again you just uh, increase it right here just put a higher number if i'm not mistaken i think the rest that you put there is five save Let's close and then we go and open our game Guys, if you haven't checked out my uh, previous video, which shows you how to remove the FPS lock, I encourage you to do so. It's in the description down below. traffic is now getting heavy and this also takes a toll on the FPS. You can see we are now down up by the 30, 34. So that's the effect of the traffic. 